Hello, boys and girls. Today we have our domain assessments for cycles in nature. During this assessment, you will be showing me what you know and what all you have learned about the different cycles in nature that we have been studying. There will be three parts to this assessment. The first part, you'll be answering some true and false questions. Then the second part, you'll be answering some multiple choice questions. And the third part, we'll go back to doing some more true and false questions. Remember that you need to keep your headphones on the entire test. You need to make sure that you are listening to the questions. I'll read them twice. You need to make sure you pay very close attention. If you are confused about a question or you need it read again, you can go backwards and rewind the video so that you can hear it again. For the first part of the assessment, I will read a sentence using a word that you have heard in your read alouds and in this domain. If I use the word correctly, you're going to click on the smiley face. But if I use the word incorrectly or wrong, you're going to click on the frowning face. We'll do the first one together and I will read each sentence twice. Be listening for that special word and if I use it correctly. Number one, cycle. Be listening in the sentence for the word cycle. And if I use it correctly, you're going to click the smiley face. If I use it incorrectly, you're going to click the frowny face. A life cycle includes the events a living thing goes go through from birth to adult. Cycle. A life cycle includes the events a living thing goes through from birth to adult. Now, remember, we're doing this first one together, and since that one is true, you are going to click on the smiley face. So everyone should click on the smiley face for number one, because it is true. Number two rotating listen in the sentence for the word rotating number two it is earth rotating or spinning around its axis that causes daytime and nighttime number two rotating it is earth rotating or spinning around on its axis that causes daytime and nighttime. Number three, hemisphere. A hemisphere is half of the earth. Number three, hemisphere. A hemisphere is half of the earth. Number four, equator. The equator is the coldest part of the earth. Number four, equator. The equator is the coldest part of the earth. Number five, precipitation. Wind is a form of precipitation. Number five, precipitation. Wind is a form of precipitation. Number six, germination. Seeds need warmth from the sun, nutrients from the soil, and water for germination to happen. Number six, germination. Seeds need warmth from the sun, nutrients from the soil, and water for germination to happen. Number seven, seasons. The four seasons are spring, summer, fall, and winter. Number seven, seasons. 
The four seasons are spring, summer, fall, and winter. Number eight, humidity. Humidity is the dryness in the air. Number eight, humidity. Humidity is the dryness in the air. Number nine, metamorphosis. Butterflies go through metamorphosis when they change their appearance completely from caterpillar to butterfly. Number nine, metamorphosis. Butterflies go through metamorphosis when they change their appearance completely from caterpillar to butterfly. Number 10, decomposers. Decomposers help to feed chicks before they hatch. Number 10, decomposers. Decomposers help to feed chicks before they hatch. Now I'm going to read more sentences using other words you have heard and practiced. If I use the word correctly in my sentence, click on the smiley face. If I do not use the word correctly in my sentence, click on the frowning face. Number 11, protective. Chickens are protective of their chicks and keep them safe. Number 11, protective. Chickens are protective of their chicks and keep them safe. Number 12, transparent. When something is see-through, it is transparent. Number 12, transparent. When something is see-through, it is transparent. Number 13, burrow. Birds burrow when they fly south for the winter. Number 13, burrow. Birds burrow when they fly south for the winter. Number 14, replenished. Drinking water after exercise makes me feel replenished. Number 14, replenished. Drinking water after exercise makes me feel replenished. Number 15, thrive. Plants thrive when they are sick. Number 15, thrive. Plants thrive when they are sick. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, for this next part, I am going to have, you can see there's a list of names uh, for answer options. So what I will do is I will read the sentence and then I will read the options and you'll have to decide which option is the best option. Number one. Alrighty, number one. This animal changes from a fish-like larva with gills called a tadpole to a four-legged adult with lungs. What animal is this? Is it a chicken, frog, egg, or butterfly? Number one. This animal changes from a fish-like larva with gills, called a tadpole, to a four-legged adult with lungs. Is it a chicken, frog, egg, or butterfly? Number two. This animal hatches from an egg as a larva in the form of a caterpillar. Number two, this animal hatches from an egg as a larva in the form of a caterpillar. Is it a chicken, egg, butterfly, or frog? Number two, 
This animal hatches from an egg as a larva in the form of a caterpillar. Is it a chicken, egg, butterfly, or frog? Number three. This animal hatches from an egg that has a shell, a yolk, and an albumin. Number three. This animal hatches from an egg that has a shell, a yolk, and an albumin. Is it a chicken, frog, or butterfly? Number three. This animal hatches from an egg that has a shell, a yolk, and an albumin. Is it a chicken, a frog, or a butterfly? Number four. This animal goes through stages of metamorphosis from tadpole to adult. Is it butterfly, chicken, or frog? Number four. This animal goes through stages of metamorphosis from tadpole to adult. Is it a butterfly, a chicken, or a frog? Number five. This animal changes from a larva to a pupa to an adult insect with a head, body, and wings. Is it a chicken, a frog, or a butterfly? Number five. This animal changes from a larva to a pupa to an adult insect with a head, body, and wings. Is it a chicken, a frog, or a butterfly? Now we are to part three in our domain assessment. I'm going to read several sentences to you about the cycles in nature that you have recently learned about. If I use the sentence correctly, if it's true, click on the smiley face. If I use the sentence incorrectly, if it's false, click on the frowny face. Number one, the tilt of the Earth's axis in relation to the moon causes the four seasons. Number one, the tilt of the Earth's axis in relation to the moon causes the four seasons. Number two, the region of the world called the equator receives the most direct intense sunlight. Number two, the region of the world called the equator receives the most direct intense sunlight. Number three. A tree's life cycle begins as a sapling. Think about those plant life cycles. A tree's life cycle begins as a sapling. Number four. All animals Migrate in the summer. Number four. All animals migrate in the summer. Number five. Many frogs burrow into the mud in the bottom of ponds and spend the winter there. Number five. Many frogs burrow into the mud in the bottom of ponds and spend the winter there. Number six. Most of Earth's surface is covered by water. 
Number six, most of Earth's surface is covered by water. Number seven, water can exist in three forms solid, liquid, and gas. Number seven, water can exist in three forms solid, liquid, and gas. Number eight. There is an endless supply of Earth's water. Number eight. There is an endless supply of Earth's water. Number nine. The three stages of the water cycle are evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. Number nine. The three stages of the water cycle are evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. Number 10. The seasonal cycle includes the following seasons. Winter, spring, winter, spring. Number 10. The seasonal cycle includes the following seasons. And check to see if I got all the seasons right. If not, you better click that frowny face. Winter, spring, winter, spring. Alrighty. Once you are done, you need to make sure that you have typed in your name at the beginning and you've clicked on your teacher's name. Then you will press submit and you will raise your hand so that I can check and make sure that I received your test. If not, you will have to start over and do it again. So make sure you raise your hand and check that I have received it. Great work, second graders.